to our breaking news, and it is a big story. Two men arrested in New York linked to an ongoing investigation into a possible terror plot to take place in Manhattan. And get this, one of the suspects was caught yesterday after he crashed his car, apparently trying to get away from agents who had him under surveillance. David Lee Miller is live at the federal courthouse in Brooklyn. David, what more can you tell us about what these two men may have been involved with? Well, Jamie, uh, first let me say that authorities right now are not releasing a great deal of information regarding possible charges, but I can tell you that the two men were associates of Najibullah Zazi. He is the Queens, New York man who later moved to Denver, who is now uh, facing charges of conspiracy to use weapons of mass destruction. It is believed that both of these men traveled with him to Pakistan in 2008. Now, let me tell you the names of the two men. One is Adis uh, Meduzanin, the other is uh, Rain uh, Ahmedzeh. As for Meduzanin, uh, the circumstances of his arrest are especially intriguing. We have some tape shot overnight. Apparently, after his passport was confiscated yesterday afternoon at the family apartment, he got into a car accident. At the time, he was being trailed by the uh, FBI and authorities. He got into this accident in Queens, New York, near the Whitestone Bridge. You can see his vehicle clearly in the video. The windshield smashed. His car apparently hit another vehicle. After the accident, he apparently tried to flee on foot. He was nabbed by authorities, taken to a local hospital, and currently he is now in custody. We expect that he and uh, Ahmed Zay are going to be arraigned in just a few hours' time. Jamie? David Lee, is there any information about why this arrest took place now if they had him under surveillance? The authorities have not said why the arrest took place today. I can tell you that if you go back four months, the time that Najibullah Zazi was taken into custody, uh, both of these individuals were questioned by authorities, one for as many as 14 hours. I talked to the lawyer for uh, Medujanin. He says he didn't even know his client had been arrested until he heard reports on the news media. But we should be mindful of the fact that these uh, two arrests take place now uh, less than 24 hours after the president said that there is a war against al-Qaeda. Possibly a coincidence, possibly ratcheting up efforts to uh, bring terrorists to justice. James? David Lee Miller live at the courthouse. David Lee will check back with you. Thanks.